In this work, we have developed an automatic method for creating a scene collage from a collection of photos. Here is a set of images of a scene taken from various viewpoints. First, SIFT features are used to find matching points between all pairs of images. Then, a fast algorithm uses the matched features to compute a Hockney-style collage. This collage is a piecewise perspective representation of the scene. Our method uses a graph-based optimization algorithm to automatically order the layering of the images so as to minimize the fragmentation of the collage. The final collage may be viewed with opaque layers, with transparent layers, or with blended boundaries. We now compare our scene collages with the seamless images obtained using a mosaicing algorithm. Consider this collection of images taken as a person crosses a street. We use the auto-stitch mosaicing method to obtain this spherical panorama of the scene. This image is blurred in many areas due to significant parallax caused by the camera movement. Here is the scene collage with opaque layers computed from the same set of images. While the collage has many boundaries, each of its components is perspective and the spatial arrangement of the components conveys the structure of the scene and the camera viewpoints used to capture the images. Here is another set of images. In this case, due to the wide field of view covered by the acquired images, the stitched panorama is highly distorted. The computed scene collage reveals the camera motion and the layout of the scene. Finally, here is an example where the seamless image produced by stitching may be deemed more desirable than the scene collage with its hard boundaries. Now we show a few more examples of scene collages. In this collage of images taken inside a large atrium, the boundaries are blended. In this collage of a playroom with opaque layers, the motion of the camera is easily perceived. In this skyline collage, the layers are transparent and all the component images are revealed. Our collages can also be used to browse collections of photos taken from the same scene. As the user rolls over the collage, the component images are highlighted. The user can choose to view the most desirable image. A collage can also be used to represent images of a scene taken with a wide range of resolutions. In this case, we have a nested collage. The user can select a layer from the nested collage to see a more detailed collage. The nesting can include multiple levels, enabling the user to go from the big picture to very fine details. To create dynamic collages of changing scenes, we have designed camera arrays that are flexible. A total of 20 video cameras are used as building blocks that can be quickly attached to a flexible sheet of plastic. An array with any desired configuration of the cameras can be put together in less than five minutes. Here we see a 2D array. A cinematographer can flex the array in various ways to control the composition of a scene as it changes. We can also create linear arrays with all 20 cameras. Once again, the array can be flexed to make it convex, concave, or even twisted. Here are 20 video streams of a scene captured using our 2D array. We apply our collage method to each of the time instances of the video. As the array is flexed, the layout of the collage changes smoothly. This allows one to control the composition of the scene in unconventional ways. In this example, a 1D array with 20 cameras is held more or less rigid. The array is twisted such that it captures a head-on view of the church at one end and an inclined view of the bench at the other. In this example, the 1D array is hung over a dining table. The array is bent such that it captures the man's face on the left and the woman's face on the right. The resulting collage is a multi-perspective video that cannot be captured using a conventional video camera. We highlight the structure and motion of the collage by adding the shadow effect around the boundary of each image. In this example, the 1D array starts out in an outward-looking configuration. As the two people get closer, the array is straightened out. Then it is flexed inward.
This traffic scene was captured using the 2D array. The array was first flexed to capture a wide horizontal view. Then it was flexed to see the entire length of the street, as well as the sky. Now we see the buildings on the right. And now the buildings on the left. The boundaries are blended.